Hollywire, what is going on? Welcome to Fake or Fact. I'm Tony Morris. I'm Morgan Riddle. And we are gonna bring you headlines and you have to determine if they are fake or if they are a fact. Morgan, what is our first headline? Our first headline is Kanye West gets diagnosed with coronavirus. Is this a fake or a fact headline? Rapper, celebrity, and avid tweeter Kanye West has risen to the top of people's feeds constantly for his exotic and opinionated tweets, but recently has risen to the top of headlines after it's confirmed that he was diagnosed with coronavirus. That's wild. So, okay, it, it, was it like held secret? Was it secretively before that he had coronavirus? He didn't, because it happened earlier in the, uh, during, during the quarantine time, right? Yeah. Um, so this actually happened like way back when, when we didn't know a lot about it. It was super scary. Um, and he apparently got diagnosed with it and it was kept secret for a while. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, and we're gonna find out later. Morgan's here gonna tell us. But you know, if, if it is true, I would love to see, I'd like to see some like some testing samples, the doctor that like uh, approved this and said, that, hey, this guy right here had COVID, I'd like to see the test. Yeah, I mean, it's so scary. Like you never know, like obviously anyone can get it. Um, but I do think it's really interesting that this supposedly was like kept under wraps for months, which like months and months. It, it's, he has a family. He's sleep. He's sleeping next to Kim. Yeah. Like he's he's putting. If he if this is true, he potentially could be putting them at danger. Also. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? I mean, it's like now did Kim also have it? Are we gonna maybe get some other uh, stories out of it? So I mean, for this to be a fact, this is intense. I don't know if this is fake. I don't know if this is a fact yet, Morgan. I mean, is it? What do you? What's tell us a little bit more on this? Yeah, so um, Kim apparently went out and said that she was caring for Kanye for a while, that she was really scared about what was going on. Um, I think that they have all been quarantining together since the start of the pandemic. Um, but I just can't imagine how scary that would be having someone in your in your family and my heart goes out to her if this is true. A lot of people on the line here. Yeah. Chris Jenner's on the line. I mean, Caitlyn might come by. Yeah. I mean, what the heck is going on here? If, if, who is this guy hanging out with that he goes off and gets COVID if this is true? Yeah, and we've definitely seen that the Kardashians, like at least amongst the family, are hanging out together. But we've also seen like Addison Rae at the Kardashian house. Okay, so is this is this is this fake news or is this a fact? This one is a fact. He since recovered from the coronavirus, but he did in fact have it. What's interesting is that it came out now too, and they knew about it, and then they kind of held it back from the public. It reminds me of uh, Kylie's like crazy pregnancy announcement where she kept this entire pregnancy under wraps for what, like eight, eight, nine months till the baby was born. And everyone's like, what? I, I guess this might be like a little habit in the family. I guess that's that's safe though. Maybe during the time, it was maybe a time where it wasn't right to uh, tell people. And it's really honestly, personally, they're only their, their business if you have some type of disease or if you have something like this. What's our next headline, Morgan? Kanye wishes Trump and the first lady well after their positive coronavirus diagnosis. Is this a fake or a fact? If you didn't know, there is an incredible article online titled The Deleted Kanye Tweets. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, at this point, America has just gotten used to his like crazy temper tantrums or epiphanies on Twitter, like whatever you call it. Um, so this is just another another tweet of Kanye. I love him. I love Kanye. He's I so perfect <laughs> for Faker Fact because you don't know his 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 headlines are so wild that anything could be fake. Anything. And then when you realize that maybe it's not fake, you realize that it's a fact, it's like, holy crap. Yeah, I mean, he's like so exotic. He was originally supporting Trump in the very beginning of Trump's career, uh, which uh, I'm not saying that if that, that's why this, this headline is fake or fact, um, but he was initially supporting Trump. Um, and I feel like actually a lot of people did come out and wish their condolences and, and hope the best for the Trump family. So Morgan, is this true? Is this is this fake or is this a fact? Did Kanye West actually, did, did he wish the, the Trump family the best? Yep, so this headline is a fact actually. So on October 3rd, Kanye tweeted out, there's a crying need for civility across the board. We need to and will come together in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for President Trump and Melina's full recovery, at, just as I would for Joe and Jill Biden if they were stricken, as well as anyone else with COVID-19. That's a nice, that's more one of his more like 
relaxed tweets, I would say. <laughs> Sane is. tweets. It is. He's also running for office, though. Yeah. He's also uh, a vice. Is it, wait, uh, is that a fake or a fact? <laughs> no, it's a fact. That is a fact. If you go look at the ballad right now, he is running for vice president. Um, I definitely was not aware that he was actually running. Yeah. I and actually being a political figure. People like Kanye West are so... Uh, uh, I, I think Kanye West is like a, a walking legend. Uh, maybe not in a good way or a bad way, but there's just something about him that's mm. just iconic. Definitely very different. Very different. I love his music. And I, I feel like I he music. gets bored and he is like, what else can I do? What, what's our third headline? Our third one, speaking of politics, uh, Taylor Swift endorses Kanye for VP, which apparently he's running for now. So is this a fake or a fact headline? If you were alive during 2009, um, I know you know about Kanye and Taylor Swift's feud during the 2009 VMAs where she was doing her acceptance speech, he stormed on stage, said like, Taylor, you're great, whatever, but Beyonce over here had one of the greatest videos of all time. And that started what I think has now been, that was 2009, it's 2020, an 11-year feud. 11-year feud between the two um, where things were bad and then they were good and then they were bad and then they were good and then he made a music video and she got really upset. Um, these two have the most interesting drama to me in like all celebrity drama. Did you follow this when it happened? Did I follow? This has been a, a topic in my career for my entire life. Yeah. Like I feel like I can't get rid of this topic. 11 years. Uh, and we thank you Morgan for bringing this topic back. <laughs> this topic is always tea. It's the best. I, I was such a baby when this happened but like it was huge then. I mean, they brought it back this year already. I mean, Kim Kardashian and Taylor were like leaking, like leaked calls that they had between each other that like, I guess Kanye was, what really happened uh, with when Kanye uh, uh, did, wrote a song and had Taylor Swift in it uh, and how he was going to uh, produce it. And Taylor said that she had no idea that he was gonna produce it that way. It seemed like they were enemies until 2015 and then they were photographed together at the 2015 Grammys and they looked friendly um, and then they publicly came out and said that they had worked out their differences that you know they texted now um, and then the famous video dropped. Listen, I can't even imagine. it keeps them in the headlines. It keeps people talking yeah. about them and keeps them famous. It keeps them famous. the whole point of the song. It's famous, exactly. So Morgan, is this headline, is it fake or is it a fact? Oh, this headline is so fake. There's absolutely no way. Um, Taylor is one of those celebrities who is very public online about her, you know, political stance, who she wants to go vote for, who she wants people to go vote for. And there you have it. I am Tony Morris. I'm Morgan Riddle, and this is Fake or Fact only on Hollywood.